Both what a roller coaster of an afternoon, but Jared, that must feel like a huge point. No, it's a massive point. Um, you know, coming into this, probably no one expected us to get anything from the game. So maybe we use that in our advantage a bit, and you see the, the intensity and just going at them and putting them under pressure because if you give them time on the ball, they can create things like that. So we got the crowd on, on side. It wasn't you know the start that we wanted, but we dug in, we kept working, and we nearly nicked it at the end. But like you said, a point coming into this um, is massive for us. You say nearly nicking it at the end, the roller coaster. Perhaps no one experienced that as much as you did, giving away the penalty and then, yeah, nearly getting that winning goal. Yeah, I know, very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, with the pen, oh, I think it's so harsh. Obviously, my arm's literally just sticking out. It's, more, it's close to the boys because it'd be on the only thing I can do is sit my hand behind my back. Um, but obviously, take the positives from the game. Before the game, we've 100% taken the point from that. It's a massive point to get us um, a, a point higher in the league. and. We just going to grow from that because obviously you see the confidence that we got going 2 0 down, managed to get 2 2 with the league leaders. We're just going to build on it and keep going. I'm keen to stick with the positives, but I must ask what went on in that first 10 20 minutes? You just couldn't seem to get any kind of grip on it. No, do you know what? I think we started kind of a bit on the front foot um, and tried to get about them. And you know, it was two probably lapses of concentration in, in the penalty box where. You know, we weren't tracking our runners and you know we got punished for it but like Mickey said the the character in this in this group has never has never gone um, of course it hasn't been what we've wanted but we've never never let our heads go we always you know you see at the end of the game there everyone's on their feet you know how much this means for us for the whole fans for everyone um, and a massive point yeah huge point for West Ham United uh, Mikel Antonio didn't think it was a penalty center forward Junior did you agree I didn't think it was a penalty either but the way the game is now, they get given, but it's not a penalty. I'm sorry, it's not a penalty. Totally agree. Yeah, I, I didn't think <clears> it was a penalty at all. Um, in fact, I think he, he, uh, he said everything that we needed to know in the interview there, Antonio. Um, I thought his, his hand wasn't really in an unnatural position. I thought the shot actually came from about a yard, a yard and a half away. Um, as ever, when a ball hits an arm, it then flails because the weight of the ball actually makes it you know, swing and, and whatever, but he's, he's so close to him. I, I'm, I find, find that very harsh. Do you think it was a striker's attempt at blocking the penalty? I don't think he tried to block it at all. <laughs> 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 really? Do you think it was a pen? No. Uh, no. Yeah, I thought it was handball because the, the guy's hands out there when it hits it. You know, you watch defenders go and challenge, make that team. challenge. You watch goal. defenders going that and they put their hands behind their back. No, but that's sure. I but for me, that's un unnatural. Yeah. Defending oh, yeah, by putting your hands behind your back. That's but Who defends like that? That's the way it is this season. You know, you, know, you leave your arm out there and the ball hits it, it's going to, it's going to get given. Yeah. How do you feel for Bakayo Saka yeah. before the game? It's, it's so disappointing because, you know, he, he, he's, he's got a lot of balls to take the penalty, you know, and obviously with his previous history as well. Um, you know, he's come back and played the way he has done. But people will remember this, you know, above a lot of what he's been doing this season. You know, it's, it's not over yet. There's still, there's still going to be a few more twists, but you know, this is a big day for Man City, I think. Yeah. That's potentially a twist, that moment there, isn't it? It is, and uh, what, watching the last couple of games, also, last week Liverpool and this week, game management. If you go two goals up, it's about game management from there. Yeah. Another team is going to create chances, of course, but as Arsenal, you've got to say to yourself, we need to get a third one here. Mm. I think they, once they went 2-0, Arsenal were comfortable, very, very comfortable, but I thought they dropped off a little bit. Intensity drop with Arby 2 0 up, away to West Ham. West Ham get themselves back in the game, fortunately, via a penalty. Game changes, everything changed on that penalty. Yeah, and as I said, Michael, what made it worse for Arsenal was just two minutes, 22 <coughs> seconds later, suddenly they've been pegged back at the other end. Well, exactly, and how many times do we see it? You know, either a big save or a big incident, and this time obviously it was a big penalty miss, and then all of a sudden, you know, within a blink of an eye, at the other end, there's a, there's a goal and the whole game has changed on its, uh, on its head. This is a really interesting goal. The ball was cleared, but you look at the back four here, the left side uh, of the defence and the right side of the defence are all totally disjointed. They've cleared the ball and have not been able to, you know, to keep up. And what's happened is, obviously, Bowen has then used that to his advantage because he can stay on side on the, on the, on the side of the pitch where, you know, they've, they've squeezed up too high. Um, it's, it's defensively, I'd, I'd say he's going to be frustrated, Mikel Arteta. You've got to, if you're going to squeeze up, you're going to squeeze in a line. And um, 
yeah, Bowen's taken full advantage. Good, good finish as well. Not Aaron, easy. Aaron Ramsdale I've got a hand to it. Talk us through his his angle there, as as, as he says. Yeah, it. no, the, the, the angle anymore? the angle he's got is, is perfect. I think what's done him is the fact that Bowen's hit it into the ground. You know, so then obviously straight away your eyes go lower, and then it's coming back at you higher. It's like a downward header. You know, and that's that's what's done Aaron. But um, yeah. Bowen's got a great contact on it, you know, so the pace has done him at the near post. We were always told as, as youngsters to head the ball into the ground. And you never think why, you just do it, because <laughs> you've been told to do it. <laughs> yeah. But I just wonder why, actually, from a goalkeeper's point of view, is it because you don't... It's hard to then judge how high it's going to yeah. bounce, and, it, and it's all, as you say, you're down and then you're up. It generates more pace as well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And you, sometimes you'll get skid on it as well, yeah. you know, but it's when it goes down, because you, you look down and then it's coming back up at you. Mm. You know, that's, that's the hardest to just... It's hard to then judge how high it's going to yeah. bounce, and, it, and it's all, as you say, you're down and then you're up.